Hi, it's Kip K for Make Magazine with another Maker Fair weekend project. You know, there's a lot of ways to start fire. If you've been in a campsite, you can scrape a couple pieces of wood together. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but did you know that you can start fire by using compressed air? Well, I'm going to show you Bill Gerstel's Fire Piston on today's Maker Fair weekend project. So I'm here with Bill Gerstel. Bill, what is the deal on this fire piston? Give me a little history and then we'll talk about it and show us how it works. Well, okay, this is the fire piston. It's really a, a fairly old device. It's maybe 200 years old. It was first um, sort of brought to uh, European and American attention about 150 years ago. There's a German professor named Karl von Lindy who was touring Malaysia. And the people there, the, uh, the inhabitants, showed him how he could start a fire without friction, without matches, just by using compressed air. So von Lindy showed this method to a colleague of his, Rudolf Diesel. Okay. And from there, the diesel engine came. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at it. These are the parts you need. This is the piston, and I'm going to show you some interesting things. On the rod itself is a groove here, and this groove is for an O-ring. There's a hole here, what I call the divot, and the divot is where the fuel goes. And on the other end here are some screw threads, and that's for a knob so I can push on the end. The other important part is the cylinder. All this is is a clear plastic cylinder, and it's made so that the rod goes inside the cylinder. Now, it doesn't fit exactly right now. One of the things you have to do is sand the, in, the outside of the rod so it fits inside there smoothly. Okay, so this O-ring goes here, and to do that, I'm gonna take this screwdriver and just pull it over. So this O-ring goes right on here, and it makes a perfect fit. Okay, now this one is pretty much already made. Again, here's the shaft, the rod, the O-ring's in place, the divot, this is where the knob goes. Now this is the cylinder. On the cylinder is a plug. It's really important to know this is airtight because when we push down in here, the air is gonna get compressed. So there can be no leaks around here. That's the key. So now you've seen all the key parts. I'm gonna show you how it all works together. I'm gonna to put on the knob. I'm going to take out some Vaseline and I'm going to grease up this rod so it's smooth, so it, it slides nice and easily. We're going to take a piece of dry cotton. It's so dry that it's black. It's got a special name. It's called char cloth. And I'm going to put it right here in the divot of the piston, insert it inside the cylinder. Now watch this. When I push it down hard, Now, this is on fire, and I could start a bigger fire from this. I could light a campfire, I could light tinder, and do something more. This is a way to start fires with no friction, without matches. It's using just the fact that when you compress a gas quickly, and compress it a lot, it gets hot. Hot enough to start on fire. And that's a fire piston. 